Lake Nation, this is the foundation. You know, I caught up to all the all the games that that the Lakers was do you know the Lakers was doing. Um you know, this is one of the few games I get to watch live I got to watch live and all that. So I you know, I wasn't really planning on making a video but I I I'm frustrated right now. You know, it's like you know, now with two games under five hundred we get like twenty you know, in in and the thing is like to, to lose to Memphis the way we did, you know, it was it was frustrating. Um I don't you know, we can talk about missed calls, we can talk about and all that kind of stuff, but did, <laughs> I, they they never they never really earned the win. I mean to win they earned the win anyway. I mean, you know, a lot of you know, like a lot of people want to get rid of Brandon Ingram and he's playing his heart out there. I mean, you know, he he's playing defense, he's 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 being a second option. He's scoring the ball, you know, and, and you know, getting people involved and all that. And, and but, and Kyle Kuzma, I mean, you know, he's struggling right now. He's playing his heart out, but he's struggling right now. Um, you know, Josh Hart, he, you know, he's struggling with his shot, and you know, but he's playing hard. Um, I gotta say this though, but I think that Anthony Davis. I I, I was thinking about it. But now I, I'm ready to say that that Anthony Davis trade talk really screwed screwed this team's chemistry up, and you know, and the trade of Zubac I think was the was that was that thing too. I think it really screwed up this team's chemistry. That guy, whatever they think, I I, I can still can't even think of his name right now. But Zubac, you know, he was he was an up and rising kid. You know, he was he you know he he was starting to play more tough. He was starting playing more physical. You know he was starting to stand up to guys and all that, and all that, and you know he 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 was rebounding the ball the ball consistently. Which how many offensive rebounds we gave up in this game? I mean that's silly, you know, like you know, and he was a consistent rebounder. Um, you know he changed direction, he changed shots, you know he changed shots and all that. I mean he he was doing okay on the defensive end, and offensively too he was doing okay. You know he. He he he'll score when he needed to. He'll score when he was asked to. Um, you know he was a scoring machine, but you know he had more more than a lot of play on his thing. He he could you know he had he had one or two you know one two three maybe offensive moves and but it was good enough. You know, for what they was asking him to do. And that's why I think that Anthony Davis trade really screwed this team's chemistry, because basically, what. You know, and I, 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 man, I love Magic Johnson, and I mean, he's my favorite player of all time, and you know, I think this was probably his worst decision ever. I, I mean, you know, for not, you know, I mean, <laughs> I don't like to say ever, but you know, because there they can be other things. But the other thing is, I, I think that he basically told this young crew, because the young crew is like, well, you guys can train me to another team anyway. It's not like I gotta prove myself to another team because I'm going to that team and all that. You basically said four of those guys, four plus two picks is you guys are basically trash. You guys are basically like, well, if we put all four of you together plus a couple extra picks, you may equal out to what that kid Anthony Davis is. And nothing against Anthony Davis. I would love him to be on the Lakers. But what that did was really say, say you guys, I mean, and, and you know, I, I understand it's a business and all that, but when you basically say four of you don't matter, when those guys was was drafted, was drafted and was asked to be, become a part of the stuff. Now, there was some bad decisions made. There was some bad, um, what you call, uh, signings that was happening, you know, but that took time, and I understand NBA is quicker to get to get the things and all that. And you know, I'm not gonna try and make this about against anything about LeBron James. I don't know if LeBron had anything to do with the whole the whole Anthony Davis thing. He better not have been about the Zubox thing because that that is not reckon that is not being a team leader and all that. So. I don't like trash LeBron, but you know, like, is is this? I you know, I just more frustrated than anything else. Um, you know, like in the beginning of the year, I I didn't think that we would be like you know, 
you know, third, fourth, or whatever. I thought maybe like maybe six. You know, at the worst seventh. You know, in the in the in the Western Conference, but this this looks silly. You know, and again, I think that Zubac trade really hurt them, and I think that whole mentality of the chemistry of the team, because one, because one, you basically saying that Luke Walton doesn't matter. You know, you guys just say, no, you know, well, just give it, we'll give you the players, no worry. You just stand on the sideline and do what you need to do. You, you guys taking a lot of power. You guys are doing a lot of things that is off-handed, just downright silly. You need, in, if you was going to give the confidence to Luke Walton, you guys should have stopped everything. So they said, hey, because basically what was being said, what was being said was this, Hey Luke, this this keep the bench warm until we find your replacement. That's what that's what it, and it trickled down to the players too. Well Luke Walton is like that. Now they now they like trade four of us. You know. It, it's it's frustrating. And then and then Rondo is like, you know, Rondo's already a risky pick. I, I was okay with it. I I wasn't happy, I wasn't thrilled, but I was okay with it. But um Rondo is basically saying, Well, if you guys don't cater to one guy, then I'm just gonna stand here too. Cause I don't matter. Uh, uh, anyway, I, that, I'm just frustrated. Anyway, Nick Nation, Malo for watching. Aloha.